got into running when I was at high school. One of my school teachers told me that I should head down. And my first coach was, uh, in the pro running coach was Brad Carter and he encouraged me to run the pros. I started running in about 2003. Uh, and it was it was great. I joined a stable of athletes, and they were all really encouraging. And once I got the bug for pro running, I just haven't been able to to leave. It's infectious, and I just love it. Oh, my greatest success! That's a tough one. I've won a women's 800 at stall in 2011, and that was definitely amazing. But I have to say, being a backmarker and running in the red, I've won a couple of races in the red. And even though they might not be the biggest meetings of the year. Being able to get around the whole field and 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 take the line has been pretty good. So I've won uh, some 300s in the red, and uh, and a 120. They were probably some highlights. So now that the Stonington uh, prize money for the women and the men is even, it's it's fantastic. There's been a real increase in the women athlete, in, in female athletes, and it's it's fabulous. The competition is really hotting up. It's great that there's the even prize money because the women really feel that they can, you know, they train just as hard and they work just as hard, and now they've got the reward as well, which is fabulous. There's a lot of great juniors coming through, and I'm always encouraged to see who the girls are that are racing well. The numbers are growing. We we get semi-finals these days which wasn't always something that we had before all the numbers grew and it's really really positive so I think the Stonington gift the the women's race there it's definitely one that everybody wants and it'll be great to watch. Oh the track at Stonington is great it's always very well prepared and fabulous to run on it's really nice and firm underfoot and that's what a pro runner always likes it makes for really fast times and really good competition. The other facilities running on a Friday evening in a, in a venue that's close to the CBD you can ask your friends and your family to come along and they often do it's fantastic. Under the lights nothing better than running under lights on a Friday night Almost none of our carnivals are in the evening, so to have one under lights at a facility like Turak Park is absolutely fantastic. And the change rooms for the women and the men, it's, it's really got it all. So how I got into commentating. So commentating today at Trinity, it was my first time. I've been a professional runner here for oh, 15 years. I had my first baby just last season after stall and I love being involved and if I can't be running on the track I would like to be commentating what's happening on the track. So today was my first time and it was fantastic and I definitely hope it won't be my last time.